Do you need 3D Zara home models for your interior? Make them yourself in just five minutes. I jump into 3D Smax and start with the line tool, sketching out a shape for the vase profile. Then I convert it to editable spline, select all the vertices, switch them to Bezier and start shaping. I tweak the curve until I'm happy with the shape. Next, I copy the spline and create a variation. We can adjust the vertices by shifting and scaling. I repeat that to build a few versions of the spline to give the object some depth and variation. Then I attach all splines using attach. Change the new vertex style to smooth and use cross section to connect the profiles. The form takes shape, time for the 3D model, I add the surface modifier and boom we have the volume but we're not done yet, we need other details. I add more subdivisions using read apology and next noise modifier to distort the surface. Playing with strength and scale makes all the difference, this is where the model really comes alive. Next, we're going to add another noise modifier, but this time we lower the scale to create smaller surface bumps. After that, we add an edit poly modifier and select the top vertexes. Using soft selection, we gently shape and round out the top edge of the vase. This helps to give it more natural softened look. Finally, we apply an FFD modifier to tweak the overall form of the vase and adjust it to your preferences just to give it the final touch. Sculptural, minimal, and done in minutes. What would you like to see in the next video? Let me know in the comments. 